the border report and the bus battle that's playing out across the country. Yeah, this is a massive story. Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sent either buses or flights of migrants uh, to parts of the Midwest and the Northeast. Democratic leaders are certainly not pleased. Governor Gavin Newsom is now asking the Department of Justice to consider kidnapping charges against the two Republican governors. We're asking the question, is this busing plan working to get the attention of Washington? We learned President Biden could start talking about litigation options. Uh, but again, I think a lot of people are wondering, is the president going to address the surge in migrants crossing over? We're covering every angle of this story, from what Vice President Kamala Harris has done since being named border czar 18 months ago, to what's happening right now on the southern border. But we start with Joe Khalil live in Washington, D.C., with the latest. Joe? Adrian, good morning. And look, so far we have not heard anything from Vice President Kamala Harris about this situation ever since those buses of migrants were dropped off right behind me at the vice presidential residence. She does have a, a pledge, uh, scheduled plan event today in Chicago, but it doesn't have anything to do with border security. So she may or may not comment uh, about it there. We're going to be waiting for that. Meantime, there are other Democrats in the administration and elsewhere who are very harshly criticizing these Republican governors who are sending migrants to cities like D.C. After busing and flying asylum seekers from their states to the vice president's home in D.C. and Martha's Vineyard, governors Ron DeSantis of Florida and Greg Abbott of Texas face serious backlash. They're using people. They're using desperate people, people who are trying to come here because they're feel, fleeing communism themselves uh, as a political pawn, and it's horrific and it's shameful. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre claimed the migrants sent to Martha's Vineyard were misled about where they were going, adding that is alarming. California Governor Gavin Newsom even asked the Justice Department to review whether Abbott or DeSantis committed crimes saying in a letter, quote, I strongly urge the U.S. Department of Justice to open an investigation into possible criminal or civil violations of federal law based on this alleged fraudulent scheme. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk. Governor DeSantis shot back, blaming the Biden administration for its border policies. He says border states and Florida shouldn't bear the consequences alone. Every community in America should be sharing in the burdens and shouldn't all fall on a handful of red states. Meantime, for the migrants themselves, we were told that there was somebody here to help us out, but we didn't see anybody. Their fate remains uncertain, mostly at the mercy of nonprofits and volunteers for essential needs. And Governor Greg Abbott of Texas released a statement that basically echoed what you just heard in our story from Governor DeSantis. And he went further, saying that busing of these migrants to other places will continue as long as, in his view, the Biden administration does not secure the southern border. Guys, back to you. Joe, thank you very much for that reporting. And the Biden administration did. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.